What if self-editing your novel was made a little easier for you? Well, today is part two of how to self-edit your novel before publishing. And my goal for this video is to make your self-editing process simpler. If you don't know me, I'm Octavia D. Mason, giving you the best practical writing tips, resources to build a strong novel, and confidence to write your story. Without further delay, let's get to the video. Are you at the point of your novel where you have to reread your entire manuscript to make sure that the story flows, that the grammar is correct, that the dialogue is realistic? If you are, you're probably groaning because you have to read and edit all 80,000 words and more. It's not that your story isn't great or wonderful and won't stand the test of time. It's just, it's a lot. And I completely understand, which is why I'm giving you two ways to edit your novel, to self-edit your novel with ease. If you haven't seen how to self-edit your novel part one, I suggest that you stop right here and go check it out. And part one, we discussed the importance of self-editing. And I also gave you one of the best ways to self-edit your novel, which is to create a book ledger. So if you want to know how book ledger can help you edit your novel with ease, stop right here and go check out part one of how to self-edit your novel before publishing. All right, let's get back to part two. The first way to self-edit your novel before publishing is to read your manuscript aloud. You have heard me say many a times, read your manuscript aloud. But why have I said this? Because when you read your manuscript aloud, just about everything falls into place. Grammar mistakes come forth, poor sentence structure comes to your attention, and robotic dialogue jumps right out at you. Reading your entire manuscript aloud can be tedious which is why I'm suggesting that you listen to your manuscript aloud. But Octavia, how do I listen to my manuscript? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's simple. All you need is Microsoft Word. Open your manuscript on Microsoft Word, press the review tab, and then find the read aloud icon on the top left. And wherever your cursor is placed or whatever portion of your manuscript is highlighted is where the voice will begin reading. So Octavia, what are some of those benefits of listening to my manuscript like an audible? Well, let me tell you. Number one, the robotic voice may be a little odd at first, but the tone of the robotic voice is actually quite useful. Hearing your words without the inflection of emotion will bring forth incorrect spelling, necessary and unnecessary punctuation, and whether your dialogue sounds realistic or not. Number two, you have the freedom to edit your novel without actually having to stay the entire time in front of your laptop. Granted, you will have to go back to your computer to make edits as you listen to your story, but it still allows you the freedom to do the things that you need to do, like cook, clean, watch your kids if you have kids that need to be watched. And number three, you get to save that precious voice of yours. Speaking from experience, no pun intended, but reading several chapters aloud can make your voice tired and yourself tired. So in order to save those precious vocal cords of yours, listening to your manuscript aloud is a better option. The second way to self-edit your novel before publishing is to read your manuscript like a Kindle book. The purpose of reading your manuscript on Kindle is to read your novel like a reader would. This allows you to get out of that writer's mindset and to help you see what your readers will see. If you stumble on a paragraph, maybe they will too. Maybe there is an entire section in your novel that sounded great in the writing stage, but as you read, you realize that it is completely irrelevant to the telling of your story. Reading your manuscript brings to light all of those errors and inconsistencies that you might have missed while editing on your laptop. Before I get to the how-to portion of sending your manuscript to Kindle, let me tell you how you should read and edit your novel while reading it on Kindle. One of the best ways I discovered for editing your novel as you read on Kindle is color code as you read. Color coding allows you to edit your novel on the go without disturbing your reading pace. After you color code it, you can then go to your manuscript, review the edits that you made on Kindle, and then transfer those edits to your manuscript. Here's an example of how to use color coding for editing while reading on Kindle. In Kindle, there are four highlighters that you can choose from. 
pink, yellow, blue, and orange. Let's say there are four things you want to keep an eye on while editing your novel. The first would be grammatical errors such as run-on sentences, missing commas and quotations, misspelled or uncapitalized words, and missing punctuation. You will highlight anything dealing with grammatical errors as pink. The second would be manuscript formatting. This would revolve around dialogue and dictions, paragraphs that need to be split or joined, and sentences that would be better off as one or divided into two. Everything that needs formatting will be highlighted in blue. The third would be story additions. This is when you're reading and you say to yourself this sentence dialogue or paragraph is missing a little more detail. Maybe Sasha's dialogue needs one more sentence to drive in her point. Or maybe the ending of the chapter doesn't hit just right unless you add something else. The sections where you want to add more you will highlight in yellow. The third would be story striking. Simply put, what's not working. This is when you strike out anything that hinges the telling of your story no matter if it is a character's dialogue or paragraph. And the great thing about story striking while reading your manuscript is that nothing is set in stone. Once you've finished reading slash editing your novel, you will return to your manuscript and determine once and for all if it has to go. The words and sentences and paragraphs that you need to let go of, you will highlight them in orange. Of course, you can change these focal points according to your needs, but the goals should remain the same. Read your manuscript with intention while editing with ease. In the comments below, let me know how you would use the four highlighters in Kindle to edit your novel. Now, let's get to the how do I send my manuscript to Kindle? Well, I am not going to go into that exactly. Instead, I will leave a link in the description box below that fully explains how to send a document to Kindle. So check that out in the description box below. Here you go, my lovely writers, how to self-edit your novel before publishing part two. But before I close this video out, let's recap our practical writing tip for the day. Editing your manuscript can be a rigorous task, no doubt. But when you combine listening to your manuscript like an audible with reading your manuscript like a book, the process of self-editing becomes easier. Hey lovely people, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to self-edit your novel before publishing part 2. And again, in the comments, let me know how you would use the four highlighters in Kindle to edit your novel. So until next time, be sure to check out my practical writing tips playlist right here on this channel for more content just like this video. And as always, if you love this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want more content just like this, be sure to check out all my other videos on practical writing tips for beginners. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for weekly videos just like this one. I am Octavia D. Mason, giving you the best practical writing tips, resources to build a strong novel, and confidence to write your story. See you in the next video. Peace.